Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Welcome mga anak to Matibay class. Ayun. And bago tayo mag-start mga anak, I would like to congratulate everyone sa inyong katatapos na exam. Ayan. So I know marami sa inyong nahirapan, maraming napuyat, pero gaya ng lagi namin sinasabi, Kayang-kaya ninyo yan, okay lang yan. And soon, very, very, very soon, makikita ninyo na lahat ng efforts ninyo ay worth it. ba diba, Sir Jason? Siyempre naman, Ma'am Tintin. At diba, sabi mo nga, maraming, ano mga, ano sa igam? Maraming nahirapan, nahirapan maraming na-confused, na na nag-overthink. Yan. Okay. <laughs> Always go on with our discussion, mga anak, pagdating may exam. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Ayun, and let's proceed with our topic for today. Identifying the different kinds of proportion. Ayan, And that so is module 8. Module 8 na tayo. Ang tagal naman ng face-to-face, -face, sabi nila. Oo nga. Sabi niyo, sir, nung last video discussion, next week na. Pati hmm. hindi ulit. Ayan. Okay lang yun, mga anak, dahil marami pa tayong meron lang ilang mga preparations pa na yes. kailangan paghandaan para pagpasok nating lahat, is safe na safe tayo at wala na tayong ma-encounter na anumang at great, yung mga great world na yan, ma'am, nakikita-kita nakikita kita naman na tayo doon sa school okay. noong Just last week. Nagpiis sila. Oo, oh, oh, oh. nagpiis sila. Masaya yun. At mga anak, may preparations lang na kailangan isaalang-alang ang ating school bago tayo mag full-blown face-to-face. Yes, at dahil dyan, let's proceed with our objectives for today. Ay, isa lang. Objective. Identify the different kinds of proportion eh. and give examples for it. So, magbibigay na tayo ng example. Okay, tuloy-tuloy tayo, Ma'am Tintin. Ayan, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Okay. Ayan. Okay, pag-usapan muna natin ang tinatawag nating proportion. When we say proportion, it refers to the equality between ratios. Noon, Ma'am, discuss natin ang ratios. Sabi natin, when we say ratio, comparison of, of two, two quantity, the A and B. Ngayon naman, pag sinabi natin proportion, equality. it is the equality between two ratios. Dapat yung dalawang ratio ay equal. Yes. It involves the quantities A, B, C, and D. If any of the three values are given, the unknown can be solved by the method of cross-multiplication. Napaka, napakadali yung lang po Very yan. Very basic. For instance, we have x over b is equal to c all over d. That it follows that dx is equal to bc. Solving for x, we obtain x is equal to bc all over d. At mamaya-maya, ma'am Tintin, makikita, makikita niyo yung yan kung paano ginagawa. Yes, basta laging tandaan, cross-multiplication, very basic. Yes. Ayun. Next, we have... Direct, direct proportion. Ito na. Ito na, di ba sabi natin kanina, different types. So, ito yung una, we have direct proportion. So, pag sinabi natin direct proportion, the values x and y either are directly proportional to each other when x and y will either increase or decrease together such that when one increases, the other decreases and when one decreases, the other decreases as well. So, ibig sabihin, Kapag ang isang variable or ang x mo ay tumaas, dapat ang y mo ay tataas din. And at the same time, kapag ang y mo ay bumaba, dapat, dapat ang, ang y mo din ay, ay bababa. Parehas mo. dapat kasi nga direct, direct proportion sila. siya. Okay? And yan, kapag sinabi naman nating indirect proportion, Ma'am Tintin, kabalik na rin yan ng direct. Ay, may example pa ba? Excited na po. May sorry, 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 sorry. Ayan. Let's give some example naman dito sa direct proportion oh, muna. Oo, mo na, Ma'am. The cost of an article varies directly with the number of articles. So, ibig sabihin, more costs, more articles. More money, mas marami kang maipapagawang articles. Yes, na, na yun. mas marami kang ginastos, mas, mas marami, marami kang, kang articles yes. na, na magagawa. Yes. Okay. And, And the second, work done directly varies with the number of men at work. Totoo naman yun, ma'am, di ba? Mas maraming, mas maraming, ano, nagtatrabaho, mas, mas marami, marami kang magagawa. Yes. Okay. And the distance covered by a kai car directly varies with its speed. Yes. Okay. And of course, the more money deposited in the bank, the more the interest earned. Yes. Okay. Mas malaking pero mas sa banko, syempre, mas malaki din yung interest niya. So, nag-increase, nag-increase, nag-decrease, nag-decrease. And, ito na, yung second naman, we have indirect proportion. So, when we say indirect proportion, 
Two values x and y are inversely proportional no. to each other such that if x increase, y decreases, or if x decrease, y increases. Sabi ko nga, ma'am, kabalik tara niya ng direct. Kapag tumaas si x, bababa si y. Yes. Kapag si y naman ay tumaas, bababa si x. That is in direct proportion at mamaya maya mga tintin, malalaman natin ang mga examples niya. Yan na. Meron tayo ditong ilan examples. Ayan. So, una, time taken by a car to cover a certain distance varies indirectly with the speed of the car. Siyempre, kapag bumilis yung kotse or tumaas yung speed, bababa yung kilometer per hour niya. Parang ganun siya. Next, time taken to finish a work in inversely proportional to the number of men at work. The more men, the less is the time taken to, to finish the work. Yung time naman yung usapan natin dito. Kapag mas maraming nagtatrabaho, syempre, mas mapapales yes. Yes. yung time kung, kailan, kung gaano katagal ninyo gagawin yung isang trabaho. So, nag-increase, nag-decreasing time. Nag-increasing yes. tao, nag-decrease yung time. Ah, ito naman, time. kapag car naman, mas mabilis kang magpatakbo. Yes. Okay. Yun nga, mas mabilis kang makakarating doon sa... O, oh, di, ano yun, direct yun. Yung time. Ah, yung time. Oh, oh, yun, yung yun, yun. time. Alimbawa, mas mabilis yung speed mo, mas bababa yung time. Oh, yes. Yung Parang time 3 kilometers per hour na lang siya. Mga ganon. Okay. And last, we have Partative. Gusto ko yan. Ayun. Partative. Parte-parte. Yes. Ang when we say partative, ka. partative proportion involves identifying parts of a whole based on a given ratio of these parts. Okay? Yung example niyan, nung tunwari, tatlo kayo magkakapatid. Uh -uh, tatlo okay. kayo magkakapatid. Mag Maghahati kayo sa 1,000 in a ratio of 2 is to 4 is, is to 5. 5. Okay? Ayun. So, so, when we say partative, ma'am, hindi lang po dalawang ratio. Okay. Hindi lang sila dadalawa. Oo. So, meron siyang kas, A more. is to B is to C, A is to B is to C is to D. Halimbawa, so, lima kayong magkakapatid. Yun. Mga ganon. And that is an example of partative proportion. So, para mas malinawan at mas maintindihan ang solving na part, let's, let's proceed with, with our, our example. Yan. Yeah. Well, let's start with our first example. When Mrs. Cruz went to abroad for an educational tour, she noticed that each guide goes along with three tourists. If there are four guides, how many tourists would they bring around? So, paano ba natin siya i-represent? Paano ba natin siya isusulat? Go so with the question, ma'am. Yes. Go with the question. Nauna sa question ay si... Guide. Sumunod ay si tourist. So, we have... Guide muna is to tourist dapat. Tama po? Yes, so, unahin natin ila, sa first sentence niya, ilan ang guide daw? Sa isang guide, meron daw siyang tatlong tourist. Mm -hmm. So, question, if there are four guides, how many tourists would they bring? So, question is, if there are four guides, ilan daw po ang tourist? So, since hindi natin alam, i-represent natin siya as X. X. That is a, an example yes. of direct, direct proportion. proportion. Kaya siya GT or guide is to tourist. Tapos dapat sa kabila, guide is to tourist yes. din. Sa, Kasi sa bila, guide is to tourist din dahil direct. And sabi natin kanina doon sa definition, apply cross multiplication. multiplication. If there is a known value. Yes. X. So by cross multiplying this one, pagtapatin mo inner, inner, outer, Sorry, outer, outer. So, just multiply 1 times x. x. It is equal to x. 3 times 4. 12. 12. Therefore, we have 12 tourists. Ayan, we have 12 tourists. Kapag 4 daw ang guide mo, meron ka daw dapat 12 na turista. So, that's it for example number 1. Kung 4 na guide, meron 12 na tourists. Yes. Okay. Example number two, if two pencils cost $1.50, how many pencil can you buy with $9? If you take a look on our example at kung tatanungin ka kung anong klaseng proportion yan, that is an example of direct proportion. Kasi yes. kung titignan mo yung ano, pencil to cost, tapos pencil to cost. Nagets po? Yes. So, pwede natin represent as P, P is, to C. is to C or pencil is to cost is equal to Pencil, pencil is to cost. Is to cost. Okay? Yes. So, problem natin, ang two pencils daw, ang two. cost niya is 1.50 or 1.50 yes. dollars is equal to how many pencil daw, so since X. wala siyang binanggit, this is our X, is to cost, which is 9. 
Nakakasunod mo pintin? Yes. Okay? Meron tayong, um, pwede na tayong mag-cross multiply. Okay? 2 times 9 is actually 18. Is equal to 1.50 times x is 1.50x. Kung ang tanong ay, ay re-represent mo lang ang proportion, then okay na to. But if you want to find the value of x, all you have to do is to simplify by dividing both sides by 1.5. 1.5 or 1.50 ay wala akong problema doon. So, para matanggal yan, x now is equal to using your scientific calculator we have now, 18 nakikita mo mong titin? Yes. 1.5 is equal to 12. Ayan. So, sa 9 dollars so, sa 9 dollars, okay, meron tayong 12 pences. Yes. yes. Answer. Okay, for number 3, 3 men can complete a project in 3 weeks. How many men will be needed in a week? Okay, so gawin ulit natin. Hindi, anong klaseng... Ano Ay, o yan. Anong klase muna? Since time ang hinahanap, take note mga anak na kapag time ang hinahanap, we are talking about indirect proportion. Ibig sabihin, either increase... Time, ma either time or tao. Basta, basta, yes. basta nakasama ang time, ibig sabihin, direct ka yes. dyan. So, dapat meron siyang... Kapag nag-increase yung X, magde-decrease yung Y. Or, pwedeng vice versa. So, i-apply natin ulit. So, we have men is to week is equal to men is to week. Yung first sentence natin, three men daw. So, three men can complete a project in three weeks. So, we have three is to three is equal to how many men. So, since inahanap natin siya, we are going to represent it as x is to will be needed in a week. One. Kasi, ilan daw ang kakailanganin mong tao para matapos mo yung work in a week. So, kanina, sa direct proportion, nag-cross multiplication tayo, di ba? Ngayon naman, kay indirect, kung ano po yung ibigay, just, bi, ibinigay, just simply multiply. So, imumultiply mo yan, at imumultiply mo din yan, and then later on, kukunin natin yung value ni x. So, we have, 3 times 3 is? 9. 9. Okay. X times 1? X. X. Therefore, ang kakailanganin nating tao para matapos ang work sa isa loob ng isang linggo ay 9. Nine. Okay. Answer. Okay, that is okay. applicable if the problem is indirect. Ang indirect. Next, oh, indirect. The next question kasi yan, Ma'am Tintin. Sir Jason, Ma'am Tintin, paano na, namin malalaman kung direct or indirect ang problem? Uh, Take okay. note, indirect ang problem kapag, kapag kasama dyan si weeks, days, months, tapos may tao. Na yes, gets? kapag hinahanap natin ay time it's at may involve na work activity. Okay, ganun. Three workers build the wall in 12 hours. How long would it take taken for six equally productive workers? workers? Take note that we have our hours and we have our workers. Meaning to say, this is an example of what we call indirect in proportion. proportion. So, magiging ano tayo, workers is to Hours. hours is equal to workers, workers is, is two hours. hours. On our first sentence, sabi niya, three workers build the wall in 12 hours. So, so three, three is, is to 12. 12. It's equal to how long would it take? If sabihin, x is to 6 equally productive. At sinabi namin kanina, kapag ang ating problem is indirect, all you have to do is to multiply the given, the first proportion, and multiply the second proportion. Or the, the the first ratio and the second ratio. I'm so sorry. Three times twelve is equal to thirty-six. 36 is equal to x times six is equal to six x. x. Since x ang inahanap natin, let's divide both sides by six. Okay? X now is equal to six. six. Conclusion. Ibig sabihin nun, eh, kapag three workers tayo, matatapos tayo ng 12 hours. Yes. Kapag six naman ang ating trabahador or workers, matatapos lamang yung trabaho ng six, six hours. hours. Are we clear, Mang Tintin? Yes. Okay. So, fifth example, father will give 10,070 pesos to his three children in ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. How much will each child get? Ayan, dahil more than 2 na po siya, yan yung tinatawag nating partitive, partitive proportion. Okay, so paano natin yan kukunin? First, step natin. So, first step, 
Lahat po yan ay lalagyan natin ng representation na X dahil hindi mo pa alam kung magkano yung makukuha ng bawat isa sa kanila. Tama po? Mm. So, we will have 5X and then plus 3X plus 2X. It is equal now to magkano daw ibibigay ng tatay? 1,070. 1,070. So, para ma-solve natin si X, simplify 5 plus 3 plus 2 We have 10x. It is equal to 1,070. Para makuha si x, divide both sides by 10. Cancelled, cancelled. X now is equal to 10,000. Sorry, 1,070 divided by 10 is very simple. 100. Seven. So since alam na natin ang value ni x, pwede na natin siyang isubstitute dito po sa ating tatlong partition. Unahin natin si 5x. So 5 now times 107 is equal to 5 times 107. Ayan, is equal to 535. Yung makukuha nung unang anak, 535 daw. Yung pangalawa naman, 3 times 107. Is equal to three times one o seven is equal to three hundred twenty one. Yung last or yung bunso naman we have two times one o seven is equal to two times one o seven is equal to two hundred fourteen. Next step para malaman natin kung tama nga ba or malay ang naging partition, kailangan nating makuha dapat yung total, tama po? So we are just going to Add. So, i-add muna natin yung mga yan para ma-check natin kung tama ba ang naging hatian. So, we have 535 plus 321 plus 214 is equal to, ayun, napalabas po natin yung kanilang original na pera ng tatay. So, ibig sabihin, ang hatian po natin ay 535 is to 321 is to 200 is equal to sorry is equal to 1,070 yun let's have our last example for this topic let's divide 100 into parts 2 is to 3 is to 5 again this is an example of partitive proportion. Okay? So, meron tayong 2 is to 3 is to 5. Ibig sabihin, pag partitive, lalagyan po natin siya ng x. Okay? Ahatiin daw natin yung 100 into 2 is to 3 is to 5. So, we have now 2 sorry, 2x okay, plus 3x okay, then plus 5x is equal to 100. Nakakasunod? Yes. But 2x plus 3x plus 5x is obviously equal to 10x. X equal to 100. Since x lang pong ating hahanapin muna, let's divide both sides by 10. 10. Okay? Our x now is equal to, sorry, our x now is equal to 100 divided by 10 equal to 10. 10. Hindi po dito nagtatapos. Lahat po ng x doon natin sa original equation ay papalitan natin ng 10. So, we have now 2. Ang x natin ay 10. 10. Okay, plus 3. Ang x natin ay 10. 10. Again, bakit ko tinimes? Kapag nagtabi po ang numerical coefficient and literal coefficient, multiplication pong ibig sabihin mo. Okay? Plus... 5 times 10 is it equal to 100? Okay, pag nag-equal yan, ibig sabihin tama ang ating sagot. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 20. Plus 3 times 10 is equal to 30. Plus 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Is it equal to 100? Yes. 20 plus 30? 50. Plus 50. 100 is equal to 100. Therefore, 20, 30, and 50 are correct. Yes. Okay, that is our topic for the day, and it's all about module number eight. Okay, all about nine, pala. Proportion eight. I eight eight eight. Ayan. So that's it, mga anak. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Uh, wag ka kalimutan ng lagi namin sinasabi ni Sir Jason. Magiging mahirap man, magiging komplikado man ang lahat. Lahat yan ay kakayanin natin dahil tayo ay Hashtag Matibay! Matibay. Mag-aral ng mabuti mga anak. <laughs>